everybody, I'm your man Dennis Pitsenberger from Hot Rod and we're here in the eBay garage to talk about pistons, connecting rods, and piston rings. First, let's talk about the three types of pistons. First, there is the cast unit, which you would find in something like my old 85 Suburban and the 454 that came in it from the factory. Then you have Hyper Eutectic, which is a little more silicone in the cast and makes the piston a little bit stronger, but really it's just kind of a fancy cast piston. Then you have the last one, the forged piston. That's where they actually forge the metal much stronger, and it's the kind of piston that if you happen to take that piston, like this one right here, and put the 400 shot of nitrous on it, it isn't gonna burn a fancy little hole in the top of it. Now, one of the things you gotta know beyond what the three types of pistons are, are the three ways that they're put together. One is something like this, a flat top piston. You can see it because it's flat on the top, little valve release. When your valves are going up and down, they're not ticking the top of the piston. And I can tell you from personal experience, if they do that, this gets a nice hole in it and your connecting rod's broken. So make sure you get the right measurements on that. The next one is a dish piston. Now that's where the piston is actually dished inside here and it actually lowers compression. Now this might be something you might use on a power adder if you're using a turbo or maybe a boost application where you actually want more volume and you're trying to lower the compression. Now the next thing you're gonna look at is that forged dome. Now that's where you can actually see the dome. It's above the actual flat part of the piston. You have your valve release as well, but this is a instance where you're gonna have high compression. Something like this might be a 13 to one compression, something you'll use on race gas, but those are your three types. Moving on to the piston rings. Now, using this flat top piston as an example, most pistons have three sets of rings. You have a bottom ring, which is really like a mop. It's keeping the oil down in the crankcase and away from the combustion chamber. Then you have the second ring, which aids in compression, the sealing of the piston inside the cylinder bore. And of course, that's the way that scrape away any excess oil. Then you have the third ring, the top ring, that's your compression ring, and that's creating that seal when the piston comes up, the air fuel mixture pops, the piston goes down, and that's how you make your power. Now, the funny thing about ring packs in the old days, they were much thicker than the ones they have today. To give you an example, a 564th ring is kind of the standard small block Chevrolet, and you look at that versus what is now in, say, the 5.3 in my wife's Yukon, that is a 1.5, 1.53 millimeter ring pack, much smaller than what was on a traditional small block Chevrolet. Now, holding all these things together is the connecting rod. Now you can get these in a couple different ways. You have an I-beam or an H-beam, or even something like this three-pocket design called a Boost Line from Weissco, and it's all about technology. You have either forged or you have cast. The cast is fine if you're rebuilding that small block Chevrolet in the farm truck, but if you're gonna spin it to 7,000 RPMs, you gotta realize the amount of force that these take, and you don't want them to bend or have fatigue, and that's where some of the superior technology comes through. Now lastly, one of the things that a lot of people will overlook, and I hope that you won't, is the fasteners. Now you can buy the best pistons in the world, have the best ring pack in the world, and have the best rods in the world, but if you don't buy the right fasteners, it's just gonna come undone. If you buy a rod like this one and put grade eight bolts from grandpa's bolt drawer, guess what? They're gonna break, the bottom of that rod's gonna come apart, and all of a sudden that cool motor that you built is gonna be nothing more than a paperweight. So you wanna buy high performance, high quality bolts, something from say like ARP. Now, one of the things that brings all of this together is the fact that whether it's connecting rods, the fasteners, your ring packs, your caster forged pistons, you can find millions and millions of examples in one place, eBay Motors.